and we've made it. Man, that time lapse made it look like I was driving hyperspeed. No, this van really doesn't go nearly that fast, but it actually does handle surprisingly decent. Look who it is. Yo, figured Check it out. You're on camera already. Yo. Dylan and his Mark. roommate, Mark. Yo. Dude, I did not know that you, uh, pulled the trigger on this already. I didn't, man. I didn't. This oh. is just a rental. I wish <laughs> this was. I'm gonna title this vlog a tour of the $175,000 van. Oh my <laughs> God, this is, the, this is 175. Okay, I might've fudged that a little bit to make this title a little more clickbaity. Okay, if you go to Winnebago's website and look up the Rebel, which this is, it is 175,000. But the thing with RVs and vans and stuff like that is that no one actually pays even close to retail. And also that's for the 2021 Rebel, yeah. this is a, a 2019. Is this a Sprinter based van? Yeah, it is. Dude, this is, it's way bigger than I thought. Right? Dude, there's a bedroom back there, Come man. Come on in. Yeah. Let me get this light on. There you go. House Come party, on in. yo. This yeah, huh? Party. Oh my God. Dude, man. right? This is nuts. That's kind of crazy, isn't Dude, it? Dude, this is nicer than my kitchen. <laughs> we got, you know, shower. Oh, shoot. We got a shower, shower nice. and a bathroom. Kind of crazy, nicer right? Than my bathroom yeah, too. <laughs> the only thing is, this bathroom smells a little bit gnarly. It's not the smell. It's not that bad. It's it, well, it's the smell of chemicals, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. I it's, smell it. Right now, it's sealed from the septic tank, but this little lever right here opens it up. So when you open it up, it tends to smell. You guys ready for the coolest part? Yeah. All right. See that bed right there? Yeah. What's that? It's gonna like raise or something. How do you know? Because huh? what else could it do? It's gonna what do you, how form, do you, though. dude? You just ruined everything, Dylan. <laughs> You've lived here in LA for five minutes, and you already ruined the surprise. Yeah. But yeah. So there's this little thing right here. Check it out. That is up to the ceiling. Wait, I think there's supposed to be a button for a canopy. Okay, awning out. Is this it? Is it doing something? I hear something. Oh, dude. Is it doing it? Throw a rave. Oh, dude, <laughs> it looks like it comes out pretty far, too. Mark, are you gonna get one now? Instead of a house. <laughs> and then I think under van exit lights. Oh, wait, hey, look at that. We got a little underglow right there. Boop, boop. And then just. Yeah. Pew. yeah. Oh, this is a straight look up. Look at that, huh? And we got a fridge in here, which isn't stocked. We will have to fix that. Dylan's just thinking about taking this to Burning Man now. He's <laughs> Dylan, so you just drove in today, right? Yeah. Oh, dude, the, dude, your place is nice. Oh, thanks, and then wait, where's your room? Over here. Still unpacking. Oh, sweet. Then that bed comes down. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's so sweet. Definitely an upgrade. Oh, we got yeah. a big old TV. Everything looks extra spooky with that one light in there. Oh, what is that? So, man, you have some crazy gadgets, man. What was that thing you had? You had like a, a, a taser whip. Oh, that's yes, right so, here. Well, you got a tactical whip, bro. Dude, it, it whip yourself. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, it, oh, okay. it actually does like, just like a little, hey, it made a little line. Hey, no, I'm literally just going like this. Yeah, I had to do it, man. The ladder was calling my name. Is it cozy? Is it fun up there? My butt's wet. Your butt's wet? Sam, Frank, and Crystal. They just go straight to the roof. I open up the sliding door, then like, nah, I don't want to go inside. I just want to go on the roof. It is high up here, huh? No, I think it's like a little over nine feet. So I could I could jump off and not break anything. Yeah, here, do it. Ugh, Come on sink. in. Oh, this is where you edit. Yeah. So try just sitting there real quick. It's not bad, yeah, huh? Yeah, this doesn't suck. Sometimes if the road's bumpy, it could be like, oh man. You got power outlets. Oh. Where do you sleep? Let me show you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah. You want to get one too, babe? Yeah, sure. I'm going to need an advance on my pay next paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Impressions, guys. I'd rather get this than the Canon R5, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and there's this thing that you can get. It's like an attachment. So you raise up the bed, but there's this one add-on that you can install in there where it basically puts in two benches and a little desk. So that could be an additional workspace. So you put benches along here and there'll be like a table down the middle. And then some lighting. Now, one of the biggest things that's gonna sell me on this van is, is this comfortable enough to use as a remote office? Because here's the thing, the van itself is a fairly large purchase. It would need to be my form of transportation and also have enough utility to haul stuff around. And this, this van definitely has plenty of space. So any sort of gear that I'm trying to lug around to shoots, no problem. And I've also been talking about trying to get a little studio space that's not part of the house. I mean, it's fine having a little office in the house, but at a point, it 
it does get a little bit exhausting because you feel like you can never really get away from work if your work is at your home, you know what I mean? So we were starting to look at places, but obviously a van payment would be much less than rent for a studio, at least here in Los Angeles. And every time we travel, if we can take this van, then we can save on costs of a hotel so we can sleep in here. And finally, as a freelancer, I'm always on the verge of not having a job. So the idea is we would try to pay it off as fast as possible. And once we have that, then we own this van. No matter what happens, we would have this van. Of course, unless a meteor comes and explodes us, but you know, if I'm just talking about, you know, if work gets really slow, then we can live here. And the idea of living in here full time does sound a little bit claustrophobic, but if you're out and about, you are really just gonna treat this as a place to sleep, to shower, use the bathroom. You're probably gonna be spending most of your time outside of the van. It's kind of like when you go travel somewhere, it doesn't always make sense to get a nice hotel room because you're literally just gonna go there to sleep and that's it. But I don't know, that's how I've been kind of trying to just justify this whole van purchase. Oh, and also when it comes to financing, you don't finance this van like you would a car, like a five-year loan. It's a mortar home technically, so you can get 15, 20 year loans on it. So the monthly payments end up being pretty similar to Carrie's Tesla. Well, you know how this Rebel has a $175,000 price tag, right? But that's again, MSRP. I'm still trying to do research on how low I can actually score a new 2021 for, because there are certain upgrades that I do on the new one, like a lithium battery so you can actually run the air conditioning even if you're not plugged into anything like right now we would need to either run a generator or plug in the outside of this van to a power source so that we could run this AC and the new one you could run the AC pretty much anywhere you want and I'm talking about this main AC unit in here oh and the front half of this van is kind of like a normal system you just treat it like a normal van this is kind of its separate battery and air conditioning and all that also what's cool is the solar panels on the roof is charging the battery for the van itself and I am running the laptop the fridge is running I'm also charging some drone batteries back there and it's still charging faster than it is using the batteries so that is awesome knowing that we're harvesting the energy of the Sun to power all this stuff all right so let's get started with this tour there's so much going on I don't even know where to start it's a little bit stuffy so I'm gonna go ahead and start opening these windows we also got one up here and it kind of stays out like that and to reset it you just press more and then pull it Actually, I don't know how this works. And this must be the biggest one right here. It kind of clicks open, and if you press it all the way up, it releases, and then it comes back down. But for now, let's leave that. Let's say right there. Nice. We got one more right here. This one's a tiny one. This is probably the least ventilated area. Oh, but of course, we can open these up. All right. And now we have the most ventilated area. We got two outlets here. So I've been charging my drone batteries out here. Below that, we got two USB ports, two outlets right here, another two back here, and also two underneath the seat down here. Not a huge fan of the placement of these because my legs are down here and keep knocking it off. And that all gets turned on by this power inverter right here. So you turn it on, all the outlets get activated and they all pull from a big battery, which is stored back here, opposed to to the small battery that the van runs off. So two completely separate batteries, so don't worry, even if you drain all the power by using all the outlets, you can still start up the van because that is its separate battery. You can check the status of the battery here and that gets charged up by the solar panels that we have on the roof of this van. And also as you drive, that's gonna send some power to those batteries to top it off for you. There's no center console, which is kind of nice because now I can just go from the back and just plop into the driver's seat just as easily. All right, Carrie, you ready to go on this adventure? You wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi. She's here, I'm not talking to an invisible girl. <laughs> We're gonna go on a little paddle boarding adventure. Are you excited? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> it's cold. Here's the van from the outside, by the way. I guess you haven't seen it from the outside during daylight yet. Looks pretty cool, huh? These Rebels come as a four x four. We got power hookups out here as well, which is kind of cool. And you can get optional KO2 tires, which is the same type of tires that I have on my Jeep. It's a sweet looking van, isn't it? Kind of excited about this. My first shower in a, in a vehicle, like a van. So yeah, here's how much room I have in the shower. I mean, it's kind of enough for me to move around and comfortably take a shower. It's definitely tight though, but it'll work. There is a nice little ventilation fan in here, so. This is definitely going to help at least a little bit. The toilet's right here. And I guess you could also kind of like take your poop while you're showering at the same time, maybe. I think this toilet actually rotates out if you want to just sit on it out this way, but then the door won't close. So if you're by yourself, maybe that's an option. But for now, 
Just gonna leave it like that. Can I get some hot water out of this now? It's it's more drizzling than a nice pressure shower. The guy that I rented it from did say that there's air in the water system. I don't think it's gonna be the best shower ever, but hey, I mean, like if I could just be here and be clean and fresh, that's a win. All right, you guys get out of here. Let me take this shower. I'll be back in a few. Now, it wasn't the best shower I've ever taken in my whole life, but I'm clean. I feel good. I'm fresh, I'm clean, and I'm still here at the beach. I mean, that's pretty awesome. All right, now that I'm decent, I can open up the windows again. So this is completely blocked out. And then this is, I think, like a, a net for bugs. And you can just completely just open it up entirely. Let's get some fresh air in here. Actually, this is a busy street. Maybe I should keep it closed. <laughs> it's kind of interesting because when you have a van like this, every parking lot looks really exciting. So if you get done at the beach and you have sandy feet or you have some sandy sandals to get clean, Sandy sandals. <laughs> Plug this in right here and you got your hot and cold water. And we could probably also use this to rinse off the dogs before they get in the van if they get really dirty or muddy. There's definitely something wrong with this water pump though. Let me give you a quick tour of the outside of the van using our little Cinewoop. Here we go. Like we got some pretty cool shots out of this but what's even cooler is that i can go ahead and start charging up my batteries and usually i don't get to see what the footage looks like until we get home but now i get to go ahead and start downloading and stabilizing it right away i mean sure technically i could pull out the laptop in any car but it's just not nearly as convenient because i'm downloading it right now i'm comfortable oh, look at this already stabilized and everything check it out Phew, through the window and I barely dodged that sink right there. <laughs> and seeing the footage right away, it's great because now you have confidence. Oh, I got the shot. You don't have to go, uh, let's just keep on shooting because I'm not fully confident yet. Now, if I had one complaint about editing out of this space here, it's that this thing right here, it folds out away from me. So check it out. It folds away like this. I pull it up, locks into place. I pull it outwards. I kind of wish it folded closer to me so that I could have the computer closer to me. And also it does get in the way of this seat right here, which is the driver's seat. So if you have a taller driver, they might want to scoot the chair back further, but this kind of blocks that. But I think this is something that was fixed in either the 2020 or 2021 version, because I think it's like a rounded table. So if it swivels, then I could probably just pull that table closer to me. And that'll fix both those problems. Carrie's been doing a ton of research. Too much research. Too much research? Yeah. Are you really excited to have one? I'm excited for you to have one. <laughs> Are you excited for all the adventures we're going to go on with one? <laughs> we all know Carrie's been wanting to buy a house for the longest time, but you know, with housing prices in LA going crazy, do you think that having this van will kind of take care of that urgency to buy a house? I don't think so, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you said you could see yourself living in here. I think I could live in here by myself. Not with me? You're kind of messy. <laughs> <laughs> also, the front two seats swivel. Can you scoot your chair forward? And then there's a latch back here. I pull <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be swiveled while someone's sitting in it. It's though. okay. I there think, you go. Kinda... So it's kind of nice having that swivel seat, who, right? Like a who, couple. Who doesn't want a swivel seat? Yeah, it's kind of nice, right? Because now we can like sit and talk, and we can turn this seat around, and now we all just kind of have like a little lounging area for three people. I think I've already shown you guys this awning enough times, and apparently, if it detects wind, it'll automatically retract back out uh, this is a nice little safety feature and it looks huge but out of all the city driving we've been doing it's actually not bad and it fits into a normal parking space more cool stuff little extra cable we also have another flip out table right here which i guess if your seats turned around you can kind of use that huh yeah definitely like put your coffee there but wait there's more so i can go ahead and release this you come down like that 
It's a little surface. And you take this seat and you actually do a little shuffling game. Flip this one over here. It's got this thing right here which just lodges into this notch right here so it doesn't really slide around. And you turn it around, throw this on here, and now there's this little metal plate that comes out here. You stick this right here. And now you can actually pretty comfortably sleep a third person in here, huh? Or dogs. This one is a little bit shorter. I'm 5'8", and I can actually pretty comfortably lay here even with the van door closed. I think if you're 5'10 or so, you might be a little bit crammed in here. But the bed back there is pretty comfortable, huh? I think, how tall can you be to lay in here? I think they said that a six foot three person can lay in there diagonally. So this Rebel has a little bit of indentation on both sides, so it kind of bulks out back here. So you get a couple extra inches. So if I put my head right up to the top, this is how much space I kind of have by my feet. So I still have a little bit more space down there. So even if you're like six foot, you'd probably still be pretty comfortable in here. I mean, you'll be like literally right up there, but Again, this is comfortable. Carrie, what did you think about the night we slept in here? It was actually really comfortable. Yeah. I think, um, I wish there was a little bit more ventilation in the back. Like, I wish that there was like another window on this side so that it would pull the air through. But um, I know the newer versions, they have the screen that can drop down back here. So if you had that open, you would get a lot more ventilation. So we still have this little space down here, which we can utilize for other things. And Carrie, you comfortable there? It's more comfortable than some hotel beds. Yeah. USB ports so you can charge your phone while you're in bed. And there's another electrical output down here. It's a little dark, so you can't really see it. There's a RAM mount right here, which is good to hook up your iPad if you want to watch like a movie or show while you're laying in bed. Are RAM mounts pretty universal? I don't know. Like in the camera world, there's like dovetails and NATO rails. I wonder if it's like that where you can find all kinds of things to adapt to it. And then it can hold stuff like your iPads or monitors up. That'd be nice. And these RAM mounts are kind of scattered all throughout the van. So you could probably do all kinds of mounting and come up with clever things because I think everyone customizes it a little bit different. Yeah, there's some people that they install a step here and that's actually a good idea because if you're short, it's hard to get up here. There's a lot of these where you press a button and they stay locked, of course, for obvious yeah. reasons. This thing, anything, if you leave anything up here, it will fall and crash while you're driving. Yeah. But inside of here, we have plates. And of course, we got one up there. And we got three drawers down here, each pretty small, but nice for organization. Oh, and we got one more storage compartment up here for our towels, toilet paper, all that good stuff. And I believe in the new one, there's a rack that goes across right there so you can put more stuff up there. I feel like when you're driving, you don't really sense how much space you have above your head. Yeah. So it's kind of wasted space. So it would be really nice to have that extra rack up there. Some people are act were actually modifying it themselves if they have an earlier model and they were building a shelf to put there. But the new ones, I think, come with it standard now. Mm -hmm. oh, car alarms. Ooh, look at the sky right now. It looks nice out there, huh? There are longer ones, right? Well, there's not longer Revels, but there's longer model Class B RVs. Okay, so this van itself is 19 point something feet, and there's different vans like this that come in a slightly bigger size. But what's cool about it is that when you're navigating around cities and stuff like that, it feels like driving a big truck. We were watching one video where they were saying it's actually around the same size in terms of length as a Ford F-150. Yeah. So if a Ford F-150 can park there, so can this, which is pretty cool. I think the biggest downside isn't really how long or wide it is, it's how tall it is. It's barely too tall to get through a lot of drive throughs I think there's some that we were able to go through, but yeah, I'm very, very tempted to get into something like this. So it is still a pretty major purchase, so we just wanna be 100%, but I don't know, after having it for this weekend, I mean, it's pretty freaking awesome. It's everything I was hoping it would be. I think a lot of people are are moving towards, you know, living out of a van versus buying a home just because it is too expensive yeah. and it allows you to travel, you got some flexibility. So I think I think it's it's definitely a good option for a lot of people. Oh yeah, a little fire alarm too, huh? See that? Yeah. Safety first. Uh huh. <laughs> we have one more day with it tomorrow. Oh, man, I'm gonna be so sad returning this. I really enjoyed having it. Yeah. You've been dreading this moment. I know. I do not want to return it. What if we just drive out into the middle of the desert and never come back? Do you think they'll find us? They probably have like a low jack on this thing. <laughs> oh dang it. <laughs> We have Justin who's six foot here and we're gonna do a little test to see if he can lay down flat there. Okay, we're good. Hey, I, I, yes, kinda? I fit. Yes. Wait, are you comfortable? No. <laughs> well, Wait. actually this isn't so bad. I'm touching the wall. And then you got like an inch of space on your head. Yes. 
It, there's no way anyone taller than me would ever fit in this. Okay, so you're six foot. Then if you go diagonal, you're you're more yes. comfortable. Yes. Okay, I but totally then you can't that. have someone next to you. No way. Six feet's kind of the limit. What do you think? It's amazing. Uh-huh. I thought you owned it. I was like, oh god. Oh, I wish. So it is already time to return this van. Kind of sad. First, I got to clear this thing out. So this is where the poo-poo and pee-pee go. We didn't really use it much, but... I guess we should probably drain it. That's part of the rules of renting it. I guess we take this, unscrew this cap, and dump out the fluids inside. Luckily, we refrained from taking a number two in the van. Oh gosh, it smells. It doesn't smell like pee, but it smells like chemicals. Really strong chemicals. Nasty. Okay, so honestly, it wasn't that bad. It just kind of that in there. Ooh, keep that closed. So I'm supposed to take about half a bottle of this stuff, put it in the toilet, and this is supposed to liquefy your crap. So from what I understand, even if you do go number two in there, it just comes out as a liquid. But I'm pretty sure this is the stuff that really smells like chemicals. I mean, I guess the smell of chemicals is better than the smell of poop. I think. I don't know. This smells pretty bad. It's kind of like the porta potty smell, you know? And then I guess I'm supposed to just like maybe flush it a few times just to try to dilute it a little bit. I guess we're good. Oh, by the way, this toilet paper just has this cover so that even when you take a shower, it doesn't get all soggy. So, you know, things that I never really thought about, but I guess it makes sense. It would need to have a cover. And I guess down here is what they call the gray water waste. It's kind of like the runoff off the sink or the used water in the shower. It should be pretty much all fresh water. So I think I released that. Oh, there it is. Hello. Uh oh, my water's getting all over the tripod. Cool. Let's load that up. And then finally, we just want to top off the fresh water, which just goes into there. We'll run the hose in there. I got to return it with a full tank of gas, but it's diesel. This gas station, uh, turns out they don't have diesel. I was kind of under the impression that almost every gas station had diesel, but maybe not. All right, sweet, this Chevron has it. Diesel is actually 10 cents less per gallon than regular fuel here. Okay, uh, I am an idiot. I, I cannot find where to put the fuel in. <laughs> okay, before you ask, it's not in the normal spot. Where do you fill gas on Sprinter? Okay, see, I'm not the only one asking this question. Um, just open up this door, the, the driver's side door, and then there's a little door right here. Oh, that... see, I was looking back there, but it turns out it's right here. Like that, and like that. You sneaky... I'm sad. That was really fun, huh? Having it? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this video was edited by Dylan. Was the editing good, or was it crap? I don't know. What do you think, Dylan? Did you do an awesome. okay job or did you do a terrible job? Award winning. Sam, Dylan's doing all the work now. Sam's just fooling around with his new little FTV drone. How you doing? Pretty down. I mean, I suck at it. But hey, tomorrow I'm gonna suck a little less. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> While Sam's playing with that, I got something new here. Spry. I am very curious about this thing here. So look at this, underwater drone. So this flies around and when it lands on water, you can flip it over and then it submerges into a little submarine. I mean, at least that's what they advertise. I don't know if it sucks or not though. So we got our propellers, we got power cable, we have a little controller, antennas. This must be the battery charger. We got our little batteries. Man, I'm so curious about this. What do you guys think? Is this gonna be awesome or do you think it's gonna suck? In the meantime, I still haven't actually gotten around to watch the last movie we were supposed to watch, which was Anon. So that is something that we still have to watch, but let's wrap up this video with a few comments. Oh, Manny says, yo, Gene, that van is sick, bro. My wife would never be cool with me editing while she drives. She would want me to just chill and enjoy the time together. It's a tough balance, but hey, whatever works for y'all. Hey, Manny, we shared an A7S three. Sony only had like a few prototypes so they were having us sent it all around and I think we were the ones that sent you your a7s3. Gene's neighbors that damn kid next door is playing with his drone again. <laughs> well Sam actually just got this and his very first flight he flew it over and landed it on the neighbor's house. Oops. Sam, where did you buy that shirt? That's a great shirt. Fun per second. That's a shirt that our buddy Chris Rollins made. It's some of his merch. I'll link his channel down below and you can watch him blow stuff up on his channel and you can also go buy that fun per second shirt. Did Sam just say Megatron? It's Megazord, man. Megazord. Yes, he obviously doesn't know his Power Rangers. Potato, potato. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, that's it for this vlog. I think we're gonna start packing up to get ready to go to Indiana later this week. So maybe we'll see some of you over there. Hey Dylan, how are you gonna end this vlog? Everyone's always wondering how the vlogs end. I don't know, maybe like, you know, mid-scent. <laughs> <laughs> cool.